What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Shipkey Shared Podcast, where here we talk about people, politics, and popular culture. I'm your host, the one and only Austin Creed, and my friends, you know, I'm having a good time tonight. I actually went, I went mini golfing by myself. Now, some of you might say, yo, Austin, that's pretty sad, man. You know, odd date? No, I didn't read odd date. I'm saving that for tomorrow. What I'm doing tonight, my, my friends, look, if you can't do things for yourself, then you must really not like yourself. I mean, look, at the end of the day, you need to be content within yourself. You need to be happy doing things for yourself. But if you're not, you're, there's something wrong with your self-image. Self-image is so incredibly important. I'm telling you right now, I just got done hanging out and doing stuff by myself, and it felt great. I didn't have anybody nagging me. I didn't have anybody that I felt like I had to impress or something. It was great. It was fantastic. Going out alone. It, hey, look. There is power in being alone. There's power and strength in solitude. It is so empowering, man. I'm telling you. Those of you who've never taken yourself out and done something fun, you are missing out because it feels great. No. I want to focus around this idea of rewarding yourself because we work really hard. I'm, I'm sure that if you listen to this show, you work hard. Because I don't know how you could listen to me day in and day out talk about improving yourself, being better, leveling up, not being happy with where you're at, always want to strive and be better, and not be going against the grain. Fighting, tooth, claw, nail, wing, fang, anything you got. To level up and be better and become the best version of yourself. And so, you need to reward yourself. I know it's all too easy to go out there and just punish yourself. I Trust me, I know. I do it sometimes. I was guilty of that for a long time and even still. Sometimes if I don't do enough, or I felt like I didn't do enough in the day, which is pretty much every day. I'm very tempted to punish myself, but on the days that I do really well, I expect that of myself. I don't reward myself for going above and beyond because I believe that I should already be doing that. But let me tell you something, that, that is not how you would want your boss to treat you, right? You quit that job, right? Of course you would. But when you are alone and you're working alone, you are your own boss. So you gotta both be the employee and the boss. You gotta reward yourself sometimes. It's good for your mental health. It's good for your employee-boss relationship, which is still just you. I know that might sound confusing and weird, but trust me, the lines get really crossed and zigzagged when you're working alone on something, whether it's your content creator, you're trying to start a business, get it off the ground, or... Maybe you're just self-employed and you're a freelancer. I don't know what you're doing. But you need to reward yourself when you're at the top of the pyramid. Whether the pyramid's two feet tall or 200 feet tall. It doesn't matter. You need to make sure you, uh, you reward yourself and not just punish yourself. There's the carrot and the stick. You can't just be swatting yourself with the stick all the time. Because then you're going to hate yourself and hate what you're doing because it's causing you pain. When it should be the source of your joy. The source, the the source, the saw, the source of your empowerment, the source of your self-satisfaction. That is what should be happening. I'm so excited about this that I'm sometimes bumbling over my own words. I'm very manic right now. I'm extremely manic right now, and if if it's ruining the show and it's coming out too much, my apologies. It's not my intention. But this is something I feel very passionate about, and I think will benefit every person listening to this show. If you're not rewarding yourself, you're going to burn out. And burnout will make you fall into a swirl of self-loathing and self-sabotage. And I don't want that for you. I want you to be better. I want you to be happy. But happiness, you remember the saying that happy is where the, I think it's happy is where the home is, or, or home is where the heart is. Yeah, your heart is inside you. You have to be your own home. Cultivate your own happiness. It all comes back to this 
idea of sowing and reaping. If you sow seeds of happiness, then you will reap happiness. If you sow little seeds of joy, self-reward, self-love, self-care, you will start to love yourself and be more happy. You'll have to. It's a law of nature. You will sow what you reap. You will if you can't just plant banana trees and then be mad when you get a straw, you know, if you feel like, oh, I want a strawberry bushes, but I planted bananas. How silly and ridiculous is that? That's the equivalent of somebody who's not, who's, who's planting seeds of self-doubt, self-loathing, and then they wonder why they don't love themselves. See what I mean? You see how it makes a little more sense when you put it in terms that are more allegorical and they make more sense? Yeah. My friends, I don't want you to be self-loathing, feeling restricted, self-sabotaging, because you are your own worst enemy sometimes, but the worst is being your own incompetent ally. I've said that before, but I'll say it again. You need to not be your own incompetent ally if you're trying to get ahead, if you're trying to win in life. Because if you're going against the grain already, you have to reward yourself somehow. Because if you don't, you will really burn out. You're setting yourself up to burn out at a warp speed. And I don't want that for you. I want you to win out here. There's enough losers that you don't need to be one of them. Please, listen to me when I tell you. You must, must reward yourself. Because if you don't, you're setting yourself up for a world of discomfort and a very hard trail that's already hard enough. My friends, you need to learn to enjoy your own company. Silence is often the loudest thing you'll have to deal with. But it only gets louder the less often you hear it. So if you're not used to hearing silence, if you're not used to hearing your own voice or you're enjoying your own company, you're going to be constantly wanting to surround yourself with people that you might not even like that much, but you don't like yourself, so anybody's better than you. That's the mindset you're going to have, and that is not a mindset of a winner. That is a mindset of a drifter, and drifters lead to Nowhereville. They have a first-class ticket one way to Nowhereville to being broke, being unhappy, and being broken. Do you want to be broken, broke, or unhappy? I don't think so. So why are you setting yourself up to be in that boat? You've already booked a ticket on that boat, and what are you doing? How are you trying to get yourself to a better position? Because if you're not, you can't get mad if your life isn't going in the direction you want, because you're not willing to step up and do it. You have control over your life, not me, not the government, not your parents, no, but nobody, not your boss, nobody. You have control. You can delegate that control, but it's in your best interest to take it back for yourself. Because if you don't, don't get upset. If you don't plant the seeds you want, don't get mad when the harvest is underwhelming or not what you wanted. Don't get mad if it's full of weeds. Don't get mad. Take accountability for where you are so that you can be in a better position down the road. My friends, I really wanted to drive that point home. If you need to learn to love your own company, and I really want you to love yourself, but I want you to be able to reward yourself and not just punish yourself when you mess up. You need to reward yourself. My friends, I think I made my point, and I know I'm really manic right now, so I'm not trying to fumble on my words and really get myself out of sorts. But my friends, God bless you, God bless your family, and God bless this beautiful country. Not Joe Biden's America, this is our America. Take care of yourselves, peace.